Today we are doing the build review for the Durango DX210 and let me tell you that building this thing was like getting kicked in the balls over and over again. First we will start with opening the box. There is a giant bag with all of the plastic parts that is completely disorganized and added at least an hour on the build. Also the body looks like a flaccid dick with a shark fin on it. First we get through the first bag. It didn't go bad but it took a while to find the plastic. Then I got the second bag and that is where the problem started. The instructions were very unclear. This car has inserts to adjust the axle and caster but the instructions do not tell you what the caster blocks start off at. I had to figure it out on my own. Plus there was two screws missing. Then the next couple of bags went smooth until I hit bag F again the instructions left out the step of putting in the chassis posts and they gave me two screws that were too long. I do not know who writes their instruction manuals but they should be strung up by their toenails. The next two bags show the lack of attention to details, it came with plain steel turnbuckles. They didn't even try to fake titanium like other companies. And then all of parts on the shocks that should have been aluminum are plastic. What the fuck? Is this 1996? Now if I like the car I has to spend like 70 more fucking dollars on hop up parts. Here is an idea. Stop taking the time and money to put your logo all over the car and take that money to get the car past ready to run status. So overall I am giving the build a D. It would have gotten an F but the plastic did fit well and the design seems decent. Stay tuned for the part 2 of this review. Hopefully it will drive better than it builds. I don't want to deem this car unbuyable. Until next time remember to keep your wheels on the dirt.